welcome back guys uh, I'm gonna show you guys today and literally you guys have been asking what is my actual setup when it comes to my home theater and I want to show you guys the best streaming true wireless home speaker system now I, again I this is my setup and it's it's really difficult to show you how the sound is so the one thing I always recommend is if you can or if you do have a Best Buy near you, head over to Best Buy, get these speakers, set it up. It's easy, and I mean ridiculously easy. Now, if you don't like it, you could always return it. I think it's like 15 days or something like that. Or you could also get it on Amazon. I'm going to show you guys Amazon uh, links, and I'm going to kind of explain a little bit some of the stuff that you get. So, oh, man, let's 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 look at this thing real quick so i'm gonna come here and i'm gonna show you guys uh the website here so this is um sonos now if you guys don't know sonos um it's not like bose or sony or samsung or uh, toshiba or any of these other ones that you have to set up wires all over the place this the only wire you're going to set up to is power to the wall and I think that's pretty much it. So I'm going to show you guys exactly how this works. So right here, this is the Sonos play base. Um, it's a small base, maybe like a big and it's, it's, it fits right underneath the TV, just like that. It's a pretty good size here. Um, there you go. Here's a really good picture of it. And I, I, I got to tell you guys like this, this guy right here, it's really good. It gives you a really good uh, speaker system. Now, the one that I have, I don't have this one. This one's listed for six hundred bucks. Um, the one that I have is actually this one, the the Play Bar. Now, this Play Bar has, oh man, I don't even, I forget how many speakers. It's it's like a whole bunch of speakers inside, and they're tilted different ways, so it bounces off in different ways. And you can see it's it's a little bit more expensive nine hundred dollars right there um there you go see this is how the inside looks so you got these six speakers at the top you got some speakers on the sides um so i think it's like eight speakers total um this in the back is what you're going to connect to when it comes to uh wiring so digital audio optical this goes straight into your tv and then power um and then it has this little thing right here that ethernet is for your hub which i will show you in a second um but this guy you do you typically need the like a hub to connect everything wirelessly you hook this up to the tv and that's pretty much it like that's when it comes to wires so um this guy has been like insane and you could compare to other play bars you could see the bose 249 uh, Yamaha 179, another uh, another Bose, the 300 series, 400. This shows all the dimensions, the weight, and everything, and it gives you the description here. So I'll leave the information here in the bottom as you guys are doing your research. But this play bar, if you want like uh, uh, like a 3.1, 5.1, this thing takes care of it. If you want to add that subwoofer, look at this guy. This is it has dual subs the the hole is in the middle because there's a there's a speaker on each side so it pushes air right towards the center and it pushes out that way it's insane this speaker has been and it's a good size speaker and it is not light and look right here two options from 939 they have a white one for 699 um it's just, yeah, there's no buzz. There's no vibration where, I, you know, when you get a speaker and it just sounds like, like just like you hear some vibrations and some buzzing. This is not even like that. And the one thing I like about this sub, typically when you do buy subwoofers um, for your home theater, you normally have to get like a good low, low, low and mid range sub you almost have to get like two different subs or you have to make sure your speakers that you get um, that some of them will be able to maintain that low sound. This one hits some really high end peak sub sounds and it dips really low. Um, I tested this game uh, called Battlefield and the intro on this thing 
Um, I'm going to try to do this with, with this. I, I don't know if you're going to be able to hear it, but it typically goes when you, when you turn on the game, it goes and it drops. I can't go that low, but the peak of this thing, when I hear all those levels, you don't get a lot of that with most of these home theater subwoofers. You normally have to get like, like your main speakers that does some of the high end. And then you have to get a really low speaker to get some of the low end. But one speaker typically doesn't do this. This thing does. Um, it is nuts. It is expensive. But if you get the play bar and just the speaker, I'll tell you this. You will be extremely happy. So just keeping it out there. Now, let's just say you do have a bigger home and you want to add some more speakers. Um, these are the Sonos one and you do have, get them in white or black. Um, the Sonos ones are maybe, maybe the size of a can. They're just slightly small. Um, and they do a really good job to, to take care of your highs. Um, some people like to have those speakers like way up in the front, but for me, I feel like with the play bar, it kind of takes care of my highs already. So I don't really... Like I want them just to get more of the upper sound, which the, the the I have the play bar towards the middle bottom, but I want these things way up. I have vaulted ceilings, so I want them way up, um, which are going to be great. And for a pair, a pair of these things, I don't think it was like, yeah, five thirty nine for two speakers, which is great. Now this is what I have. I don't have the Sonos ones. I have the 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 Play 3s. Now the Play 3s is a good size speaker. Um it is kind of heavy, but this takes care of all my highs and mid-range. Um here is a I guess next to the Echo Dot, but there is um you could you could stand it up, you could put it downwards. Um and then there is the buttons right there. Now as far as connectivity, you know, people are going to say, "Well, how do you connect it?" Once you connect that little, and I'll show you guys in a second. I keep talking about this bridge. Um, all you have to do is just, like when you download the, the Sonos app, follow the on-screen instructions. I think it's like you hit the play button and then the, the minus button to sync it. And then it'll send the signal and then it'll start talking. And then you can see it on your phone, your app. Very, very, very simple here. So I have two of these things in the back of the room, which work amazing. I got the play bar in the front. And I got the sub on the bottom. Now, what I want to do is um, I actually want to move the two play three bars to the front top instead of the Sonos ones, um, just because of the way those speakers sound. They sound amazing. They take care of my highs and my mids very well. Now, if you're like, you know what? I want to go big, big Bertha. <laughs> Here are the Sonos fives. This the Sono Five is a look how look how big this the speaker is. It's it's a giant speaker and it's five hundred bucks per speaker. Um, these are the 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 fives is like top of the line. Um, but I want to get two of these to put in the back of my room and then have my Play Threes on the top. Um, and then I was thinking about maybe getting my my ones and put them on the sides with my Play Bar on the bottom my sub in the in the middle of the room um yeah it's crazy and now the cool thing too is you could actually separate the speakers you could have multiple rooms multiple speakers and have them set up everywhere and everything could connect um with your alessa app um you could hook it all up now the bridge thing that i keep talking about this is your receiver component um very very simple the way this thing works you connect this thing to your play bar and that's pretty much it so you can see your receiver for your other stuff um there is your 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 ethernet you go from there to there put the power in you use the optical from the play bar into the tv and that's pretty much it i don't use the optical from here to the to the play bar i use the ethernet to the play bar so and then the other ethernet to the to the modem so very good. This one is 334 and it keeps everything up to date. I'll tell you this. When I bought my first, uh, my home, my, my home theater, this is my home theater. This was back in 2012. This was almost 10 years ago and I've had zero issues. 
The only thing I've had to update was the bridge that I use. They switched this over to the Sonos Connect. The bridge that I did use, I updated it last year um, because they did a massive amount of updates to it. And it was getting where the tech was just so much newer that it couldn't do too much anymore. So they they made a new app. They, they put this new one, Sonos Connect. All my speakers work insanely well. Um, I have a full 7.1 with them. And it is insane. Like... I, Again, if you guys are skeptical, the one thing I would say is if you're like, hey, let me try this. This is the only wireless speaker system that you'll find that works. And I, I'll, I'll tell you this, all the other surround sound speakers, you have to run wires and air, like it's just nuts. This thing, you know, it's almost 10 years and I haven't really been, I haven't spent much, I haven't spent any money into it besides updating the, 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 the bridge. Um, but Actually, you know what? No, I didn't even spend money to it because they said turn this one in and get the other one for free. So I just swapped them at Best Buy. Um, I don't think they're doing that deal anymore. That was only if you literally had um, everything in your warranty and all that stuff. So yeah, it's it's been great. Check it out. Let me know what you guys think. Again, I wish I could show you guys like my setup and how it sounds like. But with um, YouTube and playing the speakers and the music and everything, you can't really get the same effect. So what I would suggest is, again, go to Best Buy, go to Magnolia, go to the places back there and see if they could do a, um, hey, you just give me a demo of, of the Sono speakers. How does it work? And if you're like, you know what? I don't have a, a Best Buy, but I do have the money to get it. Get it. Set it up. And let me know what you guys think. Everybody that I've told about this system has yet to return it. Everyone says, thank you, this thing, I don't even have to go to the movie theaters anymore because this thing takes care of it. So let me know what you guys think in the description below. As always, I'll leave links. I'll try to leave some discount coupon codes. That way you guys can get them at a cheaper deal. And yeah, with that being said, take care, take care of each other, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care, guys.